Why are gas prices so high right now? Oil prices are set on the world market. There's one global market for oil prices. So instability in the Persian Gulf that may threaten supplies or speculators driving up the price for fear of a supply disruption all affect oil and gasoline prices here, even though it may not directly affect our supply of oil. In addition, worldwide demand for oil is up as the world's economies recover. That's particularly true with the increase in demand from China and India. So as other countries' demands go up, as there's instability in the Persian Gulf and as speculators drive the price up, the oil price, which is set on a worldwide basis, goes up here as well. What can be done about it? In the short run, it's very difficult to have impact on oil and gasoline prices. One thing that President Obama and other past presidents have done is to sell some of our reserve oil from the Strategic Petroleum Reserve, which is 96% full. President Obama sold some reserve oil last year and reduced gasoline prices by 6%. Every other president since 1991 has sold some reserve oil, and every time it's lowered the price of oil and gasoline. That's something that we ought to consider if prices continue to rise. Conservatives have solutions to high gas prices that would be benefit big oil, but not anyone else. Drill baby drill, opening up our Pacific and Atlantic coasts won't add that much more oil and it'll take seven years to produce any of it. Conservatives have made a big deal about building the Keystone Pipeline that will bring tar sands from Canada down to the Gulf of Mexico. They claim that the pipeline is shovel ready, but we haven't even agreed on where to put it, the pipeline, through Nebraska. So not only is it not shovel ready, the pipeline's not even map ready. It's years away before it'll be completed, and it won't make any difference to gasoline prices now or the next few years. Ultimately, reducing demand for oil through improved fuel economy standards and investments in advanced fuels like electricity, natural gas, and advanced biofuels will be the ultimate solution to high oil and gasoline prices.